Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to do a quick video on some of the new things that have come into my life in terms of beauty stuff lately. Things that have been on my want list for a really, really long time and I have finally got them. So you're, these are just things that you're going to be seeing come up on my YouTube channel a lot because I'll be using them in tutorials and things like that so I just wanted to go through all my new things with you. So the first thing I'm going to start off with like something that I'm so excited about and it is the, the YSL Blur Primer. I have wanted this for so long and I am so excited that I finally got it. It smells so amazing. I'm literally YSL obsessed. I love YSL skincare and makeup. Um, it's just like I just love it. Um, so I was so excited to finally get this. Um, it's the Touche Claire Blur Primer and it makes your skin feel so nice when you put makeup on. It also does the job of a good primer which makes your um, primer last long, I mean your makeup last longer. Um, but it, honestly like I can't explain how smooth your skin will feel when you put this on. Like just go to a counter and try it on your hand. It is absolutely amazing. Um, unfortunately they don't do um, testers or samples of the primer um, like they would with the foundations and stuff but um, oh my god it is such a lovely primer. Just try it on your hand and you'll see how smooth your hand is and then imagine your face feeling like that. That's all I can say really. Then um, also by sell, I have again wanted to be trying, wanted to try this for so so long um, but it is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I was, I, for a long time I was torn between the Touche Claire Foundation and the All Hours Foundation and I basically like the package of this one so much better um, but also this is a matte foundation and um, the reason I didn't buy it for so long is because I just thought um, it was going to be so full coverage and too heavy for me um, so I just thought you know I'll use my other foundations and stuff but then I finally used this for the first time um, I bought it from Juicy Free and I used it for the first time when I was in India for my brother's wedding which was a massive risk because I hadn't kind of really tested it properly before but when I first put it on it was just like I was literally like oh my god this foundation is so nice it was so smooth and so easy to blend and it just looked so nice I just loved the consistency of it and it literally lasted me the whole day and the whole night. It honestly is all hours. Um, it really lives up to its name, but it was such a nice consistency and it was matte so I didn't have to powder it too much and I didn't have to keep powdering myself throughout the day. And bearing in mind, my brother's wedding was like in Mumbai and it was like 35 degrees, so it definitely worked in that heat, but um, yeah. So I'm going to be using this in YouTube tutorials going forward. You'll probably see a lot of it on my Instagram too because the packaging is so luxurious. So that and the primer are my YSL splurges. Then I've got one more YSL um, thing to show you. And I've had this for a few months actually. Um, it's um, the YSL Black Opium Dry Oil for Hair and Body. Oh my god, I absolutely love this. Especially for date night. This one is so good. So you basically can just put it all over your body so you smell just like your perfume you can spray it kind of like where you would normally spray your perfume as well like your wrists and your neck and stuff and then spray your perfume on top and because it's an oil your perfume is just going to last longer and like if you know why i sell black opium like that is my scent but if you know it it's quite kind of like a strong scent anyway so it lasts anyway um but this just helps it last longer you can spray this into your hair rather than spraying the perfume in your hair which is not good for your hair but this you can spray in your hair um and it kind of just put some moisture back in your hair and your hair just smells amazing and I just love it like I, I don't know how I went through life so long without this um especially because this is my scent as well I love it so um any dry oil sprays anything you see that like that for the for your scent I definitely highly recommend it then next was another foundation that I wanted for such a long time and I had a sample of it and I tried it and never got around to buying it um, it is the Bobbi Brown um, skin foundation the kind of like all day lasting whatever it's called it's got a really long name but here it just says skin foundation I 
just love the consistency of this. Again, this is so lightweight, but you can really, really build this one up. So you can literally like do your makeup in the morning, um, and then if you decide you're going out in the evening, just put, just kind of like build it up. It's really, really good. And if you use the Bobbi Brown foundation, um, sorry, if you use the Bobbi Brown pressed powder as well um, to kind of like set it, you can still use this foundation, even though it's a liquid on top of that powder. Like it doesn't all kind of turn all clumpy and horrible, um, which is the beauty um, of using kind of like products all from the same brand because they kind of like are made to work with each other and layer on top of each other, which is really good. But again, this lasts all, all day. It's just a really simple, easy to use foundation. Um, it's not too glowy, it's not too matte. It kind of just will be what you want it to be. You can set it with a bit of powder and then all of a sudden it's matte, but otherwise it can be really nice and glowy too. I do love this foundation, um, just for like an everyday foundation because it's so lightweight. It's almost like the MAC face and body, like that's how lightweight it is. And my shade is Honey, so that's another one that you may be seeing a lot of. Then I've got some products from Cryolan. So first of all, I have got the Shimmering Event Foundation in Golden Beige. Now, I will have to show you this like in a video or something, but this is such a lovely like shimmer. If you want to put your primer on, then put this on, then put your foundation on. Um, it just gives you such a lovely like glow. Um, or you can mix it in with your foundation and it will do the same kind of job. Or you can, then you, on top of that, you can use it as a highlighter. Um, a lot comes out from just one pump, just be careful of that. Such a lovely, like, subtle shimmer, but it just looks so natural. I really, really like this. And you get a lot of it, and you can use it on your body as well, so if you want to use it, like, on your shoulders and on your neckline and um, on your back and stuff like that, like, in the summer or in the evenings or even in the day, if you've got your shoulders and your back out, I mean, why wouldn't you? Also from Cryolan, I have got this uh, colour correcting pen, which... I really really like so they have the colour correcting like colour correctors in the pots um, which are really really creamy and really lovely but the pen is very very lightweight this one you have to twist but you only need the tiniest amount because as you can this is the orange one and it's very very orange but you can really 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 blend it so I literally use like one spot under the eye and really blend it and it just kind of like blends um, and it's much much more lightweight and um, still very pigmented but you only need it's easier to work with than the actual little pots um, so this is kind of like because those little pots are kind of designed for like proper full-on like camouflage or like you know proper um, like screen makeup or like if you're trying to hide scars and stuff like that whereas this is just like to hide dark circles and kind of use as like an everyday product but yeah it's only like 10 or 11 pounds so and I can imagine it lasting absolutely ages because you just need the tiniest amount so that's that and then also from Cryolan I have got the HD cream liner in aubergine I've got a I've used this in one of my videos, I think it's the Naked Cherry video, but I like using this just like on my lower lash line and as a liner. It is so blendable, very, very pigmented, you just need the tiniest amount, and it lasts all day. All Cryolan products are very pigmented and last all day, they're made to last because they're used kind of like in the film industry and stuff like that, and so they like, they're heavyweight products, but you can use them in different ways for like everyday makeup as well. Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. Oh my god, I've wanted to try this for so long. Obviously you know that I love the All Nighter Foundation. I love the All Nighter Concealer. I love the All Nighter Setting Spray. Like I am all over the All Nighter everything. So when I knew there was an All Nighter Powder, um, I was right up in there. I love this packaging. It's just so nice. This is the Waterproof Setting Powder. And oh my god, does it set? So it is literally one shade fits all. I love one size fits all kind of products. And you basically just set your foundation, your concealer, anything with it. And this really works well with the All Nighter Concealer because the All Nighter Concealer is so like full coverage and quite heavy. I like to use a really, really lightweight powder. And this powder is so translucent and so lightweight. It like, literally just sets your makeup in place. This is not there to kind of give you any kind of coverage. It's literally just to set your makeup and it really sets your makeup so, so well. So I'm so glad that I finally got this. You may have seen in a couple of my videos and Instagram posts that I used, I use the Smashbox primer every day, the original, you know, Smashbox primer every day. But now, um, 
in the winter and then in the summer actually I started to use the hydrating primer um, but unfortunately they just continued that and I was really really upset but then they launched the Smashbox Primerizer I've only got a small travel version here and this is basically a primer and moisturiser in one you see, I would still wear your moisturiser though um, and then I wear this as a primer but this primer is so lovely and so hydrating and I basically just use it all over my face and it makes your face feel really nice and smooth so like I would use this as an everyday and then the you know blah, YSL one on like special occasions I was really upset when I just continued that but I'm okay now because I've got the primer eyes out so that's fine finally I have this beauty from Kat Von D it looks very dangerous very pointy but this is the lash liner a liquid liner but as you can see that the nib is quite thick so you don't use it in the normal eye you use it to really get in the roots of your mascara so you know when you have your lashes or whatever you've got your mascara done and sometimes just like here you know where the mascara doesn't always get to this is for those bits or throughout the day if you've like powdered your nose and you've redone certain stuff and then your mascara is already like kind of like not at the stage where you want to put more mascara on because it will go clumpy you can just use this to kind of just go over those powdery bits um, and just to kind of make your mascara more intense at the roots or on the tips just to hide any powdery bits or like if you're wearing glitter and then bits of glitter get over um, onto your lashes um, it's really hard to get rid of that glitter so this you can just kind of put over that glitter I just found it like really really useful especially when I've been doing bridal makeup for people um, and you've got all the false lashes and stuff like that it's just to kind of help hide the glue and whatever just thought I'd discuss it because it's been really really useful in my life I've been using it a lot so yeah those are my new things that I have discovered lately and I've been using I'm sure you'll see a lot more of them in my YouTube videos going forward and you'll see them all over my Instagram comment below let me know what you new things you've been trying lately and um i will see you guys very soon bye guys